Hello, my name is Lisa Langell and I'm going to help you edit your photos and fix a missing wingtip on a bird. All right, wildlife photographers, how many times have you photographed a bird only to clip a wing because it was too close to you or it was moving so quickly you had a hard time getting the whole thing in the frame? Well, that certainly happens to me from time to time and I want to show you a way that you can restore those images. Now I'm using a simple example here. Some will be much more complex, but this might help you restore an image. Of course, depending on the competition, if you're entering a competition or uh, other type of need, you may need to explain to the viewer that this has been an illustration at this point because you have modified the original image. But uh, from a restoration perspective, I want to show you how you can accomplish that. So I'm using Bridge, though you can certainly use Lightroom as well. But what you'll want to do is select the image and you'll also want to look at the images around that original image that you want to fix. So you'll notice this egret is missing just a portion of this wingtip and we want to fix that. So I'm going to go to this image here and make sure when you open it up, you do any of your adjustments first in Lightroom or Bridge. So change your exposure and anything else that you might need to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the image. Now I have one single background layer here. I'm going to click it and you can either right click and duplicate the layer or you can drag it down here and duplicate the layer that way. But I always work with a duplicate, okay? So uh, you always have a known good to go back to if you need to. I'm going to reduce the size of this and I'm hitting my alt key and my scroll on my mouse. I'm using a PC. Okay, so now that we have this image reduced, one of the things I want to do is add some room to the top. Now there's a couple ways that we can do this. One is to click the crop tool and then extend upwards like this and double click and you'll see that this is black. This is black because my underlying layer here is black. I could, to get closer, select a color from this blue and do the same thing. So let me undo that crop and I'm going to go and click my dropper and select a blue part of the sky. Now this won't work perfectly because skies always have a gradient, but it can help get you closer. So I'm going to change this by clicking this key or you can click the X on your computer keyboard and this puts this to the back. Now if I have my crop tool, I can go like this and add more room and it will be blue. The thing is though, remember this is a gradient so if I zoom in you're going to see lines of demarcation here. So this is one way but it's not the perfect way. Another way that you could go about doing this if you choose to do so, and I'm just going to flatten this layer for a minute just to show you this other example, is I could go to my selection tool and I could feather this a little bit if I want to. I'll just say 20 pixels. Feathering means you won't have a hard edge like what you're seeing here. You'll have a softer edge. So I can go and select this and then go to edit, fill, content aware fill, and then you could choose color adaptation if you like, normal and opacity 100%. So I'm going to go OK. OK. So now that we've done this, you'll see that there are some differences in the color of blue here and here. When I go to edit, fill, content aware fill, and unselect color adaptation, you'll see that those colors are a little bit more consistent. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to deselect this. But I still have problems, don't I? I have now two bird heads and two sets of wings, and all I was really trying to do was match the gradient in this sky. So there's a couple ways that we can address this. So now that I have this background copy, I'm going to go and I'm going to click my selection tool, and I'm going to select some of the sky, and I'm actually going to feather this a little bit at 20 pixels, and I'm going to select some of the sky here, and I'm going to copy or control C, or you can go to edit copy and then I'm going to paste which is control V on a PC or I can go to edit paste and then transform so I can either hit control T or I can go to edit transform and then choose scale so once I do that this becomes another layer a, a moment ago when I did this and this becomes a movable layer so I could call this layer something and I'll name it in a minute but I can drag this right over my bird and then I can actually stretch it out as needed to cover everything. And you'll notice that I stretched it a little too far here. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Of course, I could stretch it back, but I want to show you another way if you can't do so. So I'm going to double click that to set that. I'm going to call this layer blue sky bird head. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to click my mask tool. 
and I'll go with my white or black brush to remove or add pieces of this head. So I'm going to scroll in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If I go to my brush and I go to an opacity that's 100% but my hardness at zero, this should give us some pretty good tools to then bring back that sky. So if you've never used mask, you'll know that black brings back or removes the layer in that mask. White goes back to the original, okay? So I'm going to hit X to bring black, and I want to bring back this bird head. Okay. And you can always change your opacity, you know? You might need to go with a lower opacity and just kind of play with it so that you don't bring too much forward, uh, but go ahead and do that as needed. Okay, so that part's done. Now we have this part over here. So I'm going to zoom into this area here. And we have like two sets of wings here, and really all I wanted was sky. So we can do a similar thing where I can grab some of the blue sky. So I'm going to get my selection tool, and I'm going to select a part of this sky. Now, right now, I selected it on this layer here. I really don't need to do that. I can go to my background copy, and then copy, paste, transform and I can bring this over here. And then I can stretch it out a little bit as needed. I can also go, I'll double click this just to set that part, but I can go to Edit, Transform, and Skew, and I can kind of skew this down or around a little bit if I need to. And you'll notice I'm still cutting into some of these wing feathers here. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that. So I'm going to go, and I'm, now that I've done this, I'm going to call this blue sky bird wing. Okay, so now we know what this layer is. And then I'm going to click the mask tool down here, which is the rectangle with the circle in it. And I'm going to go to my brush, and I'll leave it at 100% opacity. And again, when you're looking at the hardness, it's at zero. And I can kind of bring some of that stuff back in that I had lost earlier. Okay, because some of those wings were actually good wings that we needed. But remember, we had cut some of it off, right? So I've, I've masked out too much, or unmasked part of it. I need to change back to my white brush and bring some of that back to blue sky. So I'm just showing you kind of how those things work. All right, so we still have this missing wing tip that we need to fix. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to select my background copy. And I'm going to go to a part of the wing that actually looks good. Now, again, this is where if you had a sister image where you had some good wing tips and the sky was a similar color, it would be an easier fix. Uh, but in this case, I don't have that, so I'm going to go to my lasso tool, and I am going to select this wing area here. And I'm still feathered at about 20 pixels, so that'll give me a softer edge. I'm going to copy or control C. I'm going to paste or control V. And then I'm going to transform, control T, or you can do all of that via the edit tools up here. And then I'm going to bring this up. But you'll notice when I bring this up to a certain point, it disappears. Why? Well, that's because this layer is under these. So go ahead and rename the layer. I'm going to call them new wings. And I'm going to take that layer and drag it to the top. Now it sits on top of everything else. I can then go and transform again, and I can move this freely. So my goal is to rotate this as needed and move it about as needed, and we'll clean up some of this other stuff, don't worry. And you may even need to stretch it a little bit as needed to give you the feel of the wingtips. So you just got to kind of massage this around a little bit and see what works well. Okay, so now that I've done that, these wings look pretty good, but I need to clean up these ghost pieces here. So I can change this to a mask, and then again, go to my paintbrush, and then add or remove. So remember, white and black do different things. Black is going to remove the top layer and bring me that underneath layer, just like so. White, if I change my brush back to white, brings it back, okay? So I'm just going to remove some of that excess that I didn't need. 
and you can change the size of your brush by using your bracket tools or going up here and changing the size of your brush but you want to be able to get in there in some of the detail and you may need to zoom in and change the size of your brush some more to just really get into some of that detail All right, so now I'm going to zoom back out and we'll try to clean up some of these other little areas because you want nice clean lines. You don't want it 100% hardness though because that's not what the rest of it looks like. If I were to do 100% hardness, it's really going to look like a crazy line like this. See what I mean? Zoom in and that's just too harsh of a line. So we want to do something with your hardness right around zero or you know, you can play with it depending on your subject. All right, so now I've cleaned up these wings. I could maybe just clean it up a hair more right here. And if that still isn't enough, I can go to my background copy. I can go to my clone tool. And I can grab something from here and just kind of clean up that edge that way a little bit. All right, so now that I've added that wing back in, you might say, well, this one looks a little shorter than these. Yes, it does. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to go to my selection tool, or the, excuse me, the lasso tool. And I am going to select this. And I'm going to copy, paste, and transform, just like we've done before. And now I can stretch that out. And I can even rotate it a little bit if I needed to. All right, so if I rotate and stretch... we should have something that looks more like the wing that we were hoping for. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can zoom in and see if there's any cleanup work that needs to be done. So I can change this to a mask by clicking that mask tool. And I'm going to call this one extended third primary. All right, because it's a primary feather on that bird. Okay, so I've labeled this layer extended third primary. But right now, it sits under those other layers. If you want, you can bring it up to the top. And then we can create this as a mask. And then I can go to my brush tool. And then we can mask in or out some of the areas that you need. So I'm going to just get rid of a little bit of that blue sky that shows up from stretching that out. And that should bring us pretty close to the restoration of that wing. OK, so now that I've done that, I still don't like this little area over here that I think might have been a branch or something else in that screen. So I'm going to go to my background copy. I'm going to go to my clone tool. Or I could go to content aware fill. And I'm going to grab a similar area. And I'm going to just change this to 100% opacity. And you're going to notice when I'm selecting this, you're like, wait a minute, there's white feathers, right? So you got to be careful with this because you have these other layers. This background copy was originally the one where we had done the content aware fill. Because remember, all these layers sit on top of it. So if you want to, you can go and grab all of these layers and you can flatten or flatten the whole thing. Now that you know you've done it what, the way you want to, duplicate the layer again and this will allow you to just simply clone out that sky. So I can clone that out, or remember, I can also go back to my lasso tool, grab a similar piece of color sky, copy, paste, transform, drag it up over the area that we're trying to fix, and cover those things right up. If you've covered up a little bit of the blue wing, you now know what to do. Click your mask tool, go to your paintbrush, zoom in on that, and just mask that out. So uh, there you go. There's a couple of ways that you can reduce and uh, you know some of the issues with your images, replace those wingtips. You can then go ahead and flatten that layer if you want or do other work to it, and you're good to go. I hope this has been helpful. I wish you a great day, and I hope that you will begin to photograph the world beautifully.